Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's Chrissy K. Rollins here bringing you this week's energy update. And my computer just automatically started this live. So we're going to dive straight into it. I was just pulling the cards that I'm going to be posting after this. Um, I was going to do it real quick before going live. But once we wrap up, hop over to the Conscious Success community and you can check out a, a, a more in-depth reveal um, over there in that group. So let's get the party started here. What is on my heart and mind with these crazy energetic times. What was on my mind and heart, what was really nudging forward to talk about today is the fact that we have officially moved into Virgo season. Virgo season for all my Virgos out there. Y'all are, you're the ones that hold it down and hold it together in so many ways that uh, you're often overlooked, underappreciated, and underrecognized for how much good you bring to this world. You're very driven by integrity and doing the right thing. Hey there, if you're joining live, feel free to say hello. Let me know who's watching. So I've got lots of Virgo friends. I have many Virgos in my life, I have a very close, intimate life partner that is a Virgo. And I feel like I have learned the language of Virgo. Hey, Colleen, you can chime in on this conversation too. I'm sure you have a lot to give. Um, so I've come, I've come to know Virgos on a very intimate and intense level. And I feel that I have grown an understanding and an appreciation and an ability to really decipher the Virgo, because Virgos are, they're driven by this, uh, oh, Colleen's a Virgo too, of course you are. So you can let me know if this, uh, if this rings true for you or not. Now, mind you, you know, when we talk astrology, especially when we're talking sun astrology, if that's your sun sign, there are so much many more aspects that really make up your overall personality. So you might not resonate 100% with this, or it might not totally fit the bill for every Virgo that's in your life. But knowing this is helpful, because when you understand the characteristics of of the particular energies uh, or energies of the different zodiac signs, then it's just one more tool in your tool belt or one more thing to consider. I don't claim to know the absolute right, wrong way of living life. All that I'm here to do is to bring to you another perspective to consider, just something to think about. And the perspectives that I bring to the table and offer as an invitation for you to consider, it is always one that I have found benefit applying into my life. So once I'm like, whoa, I'm feeling more relaxed, more at ease, more empowered, more confident, more happy, more fulfilled, whatever that thing is, those are the perspectives that I bring over here. So try them on Versailles, see if they're for you. Um, but for my Virgos out there, I know you to be remarkable driven by this need to do the right thing. And because you are just hardwired, programmed, yes, Virgo is the natural healer, very intuitive, very much, again, driven to do the right thing. So when someone is hurting, when someone um, is, is, is uh, their, their immune system or their well-being is compromised, a Virgo knows that the right thing to do is to tend to that person, take care of that person. I often think that my husband is a better mom than I am in some ways because when it comes to um, providing all these little comfortable, fluffy needs and catering to, it's way more in his personality than it is in mine. So we've come together in a really great partnership um, together where I can bring that, that um, you know, other strengths to the table. But uh, because my sign's driven by this more masculine, uh, authoritative planet, his uh, more communicative, soft, malleable, merc mercurial ways of being Virgo allows him to um, to bend a lot more easily in that direction and be very nurturing, very uh, supportive. So I'm glad that you opened up that side of it because now that just adds a little bit more depth to what I was going to say. It. So since this is the energy of the time that we're in, these energetic qualities, it doesn't just go to the individuals. We all have some of this within ourselves. And this season is just going to be ripe for highlighting and bringing forth and uh, like shining a light on these Virgoian aspects within ourselves. So if right now, all of life is being Virgo, then all of life is supporting you in doing the right thing, not cutting corners, seeing something through, ooh, 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 being integrity filled. Hey, Michelle, welcome to the conversation. We're talking about Virgo, so if you have any uh, thoughts to bring to the table. So if, if these are the qualities that a person displays under the sun sign, then wouldn't that be the qualities that life is doing? So if life is saying, hey, here's an opportunity to be more integrity filled, 
we're going to shake up the areas where your integrity is not firmly intact. And we're going to give you the opportunity to decide who are you going to be. Are you going to continue to be sloppy? Because that's how a Virgo would see it, sloppy, not up to par. Or are you going to do the right thing, realize that your name is behind whatever it is that you're putting out here into the world. So if you're putting it out here, you better be doing it the right way. And the right way doesn't necessarily mean you have to copy everybody else, but it means uh, one that holds a bigger picture in mind than just your own self. One in which your move benefits everybody. And life is asking and uh, supporting us really to follow what it is that feels right and true and best to us. And that's why we get all these agitations because it's just another part of the refining process to help us to learn who we are and who we are not and to help to show us how we want to be and how we do not want to be in this world. So with the Virgos around us on, on heightened, this is their season, you're going to be feeling that, that rightness, that structure, that integrity, that um, do the right thing and get a lot of things done kind of feeling, right? So it's going to be time where you're going to be feeling like the need to organize or declutter or streamline or clean. Virgos like things clean and orderly. So if you're feeling those urges, it's not just coming from nowhere. It's not just coincidence. Now's the season for it. And when we know that that's what the season's for, then we can better understand why is this person giving me problems? Why is this person being so challenging? Why isn't this person just doing what I want them to do? Look to our Virgos and see how some of those traits and qualities could be interjecting themselves into your life. I even got my little Virgo necklace on here. See, Virgo is my north node. So how perfectly paired am I with my life partner that um, I have a, a living example of more of the characteristics that I need to bring to the table. And that's one of the things that my Virgo partner has taught me and helps me with is this communication. Virgo is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is all about communication. So um, being able to communicate what you see is right and is true and not be so passive. I've got a Pisces self node, so I'm super passive in a lot of ways. I let a lot of things flow and slide and I partner that with a very self-reliant Capricorn sun sign. So I'm very self-reliant, very reserved, very much like, oh, well, I'll do it if nobody else will. But what's being asked of me is to speak more of my truths out loud. Hey, Jackie, glad you could be here. And I know you got some insights to, to add to this conversation um, to speak more truth out into the world and not just be so passive and let things slide by, but to say, Hey, I love you too much. I care too much. I'm too committed to do what's easy or what I'm used to doing. And so now I'm going to do what is more challenging and more confrontational. And I've just have to find my way to do it in a more aligned way way than some of the examples that I've seen around me because whenever we are dealing with right and wrong it can be very harsh and I can bring my passive fluid ways to the table to take this truth keep it compassionate but then don't keep it inside me bring it out into the world so if you're noticing that others are speaking up a little bit more maybe they're coming across a little bit more nitpicky maybe they're coming across less patient less tolerant, a little bit more critical. These are all ways that Virgos can be misinterpreted. So if you can embrace and challenge yourself to flip that upside down and not hear criticism, but hear that the only reason that, a, that anybody would be speaking to you about a way to refine your character is because they care about you. They love you and they want to help to develop the best you possible. Virgos often look at people knowingly or not like fix it projects, like, oh, I can help to fix them. And a lot of us, my audience, I know that we, uh, we're known rescuers. A lot of us, we want to save people and rescue people and make everybody feel better and be happy. There's good reasons for that, right? That's why I have the conversation that I have going on in the conscious, um, co the conscious success cooperative, because, um, we're all going through this together, right? Okay. I'm going to keep myself focused and on track here. Okay. See Virgo calls for structure. It calls for structure. And that's what we are looking for. It's a perfect time of year for it. Schools back in session. We've got the end of the year countdown. We're looking at how this whole two thirds of the year have gone by and you have or have not reached the point that you thought you'd be at. 
right? In your personal journey, in your professional journey, whatever life journey you're on. It's 2019 looking how, like how you thought. If so, if not, you're definitely looking at the end of the year different. You're putting some structure. How can I get everything in before the end of the year? How can we get all this in before the holidays? How can we do all of this, right? And that's what life's supporting. So if you're feeling those nudges, go for it. And if you're feeling the criticisms of others or you're feeling more difficulty from others, put on those Virgo glasses and look at them through that filter of how could this person be advocating for the refinement of my character, more integrity, or how are they giving me an opportunity to speak a truth that I've been holding within me? Maybe the reason some of the things keep happening is not, is, is not because you're not both going through it, but because one of you isn't giving voice to it, right? So you're going to be given the opportunities to channel that inner Virgo, and you're going to be dealing with people that are bringing that energy in. It's going to be, it's going to sound a little critical perhaps, but know that it comes from a place of wanting what is best for you and everyone else. Virgos are generous, considerate. They are amazing, remarkable people. And those qualities we can harness and we can bring to the table as well. And just like our Virgo companions, that energy can get us out of whack too. You know, all that striving for perfection can stop us from enjoying right now. And all that striving for and constantly looking for improvement, which is wonderful, can have you always looking for what's wrong. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, I'm so glad I'm saying these words out loud because this so rings true to me as well. I have been feeling overwhelmed, anxiety wise, overwhelmed. And I feel so grateful that I have the tools in my tool belt to be able to sort through my thinking and be able to remind myself of these perspectives. And I'm sharing with you now, it's part of the reason I have this ongoing conversation is to keep it at the forefront of my own mind because I find life to be so overwhelming. So if you're feeling that overwhelm, if you're seeing your own inadequacies, Virgos are so hyper hypercritical of themselves. They see their own shortcomings, that, that lens that they use to view the world with, to see where everything can get improved is constantly turned on themselves. It's probably why I have so many in my life because of the field that I'm in and the way that I help people. I'll tell you, Virgos are some of my best clients. I, some of you can also sneak away and get to hiding because you can get overwhelmed with all these things, right? So if all of this is coming up, if it's like there's just so much, Virgos get into analysis paralysis, they really want to do the right thing, and if those feelings of overwhelm are happening, like if all that's coming on you, just take a deep breath. This is not your undoing. It is just the undoing of the parts of you that you have been asking and saying and praying and speaking and affirming that you're ready to let go of. Sorry it doesn't feel better. I'm sorry it has to feel the same horrible way like as you go through the healing process as it does going through the, the onset. But this is the journey. It doesn't have to hurt so much. If you want to make it a gentler journey, definitely reach out to me. I have tons of resources for you to just ease back into. And the best part, what I love about doing one-on-one -on -one work with people is that from that moment on, you're just no longer alone. Even if you're totally alone in your situation, you're just not alone anymore. And that's, that's amazing, amazing relief in itself because we need it to be perfect. Kelly says, see, Kelly saying so true. She said, yes, because we need it to be perfect. Yes. So if you are a perfectionist, I'm a recovering perfectionist. Life is going to help you to see where you need to show up more and where you need to let go and enjoy right now because you'll miss it. You'll miss it. This is so cool. Now, I picked this card before I even started this whole conversation. If you're still watching to this point, thanks for being here. I see that we still have a couple people on live. And um, if you've made it this far in the replay, definitely drop some comments. Let me know. Is this ringing true to you? Does this sound like what you've been dealing with or what you've been watching the people around you dealing with? Okay, I always like to draw um, one of these beautiful Oracle of the Mermaid cards. They're just a great way to offer in, invite in one more reflection, one more way to think and consider consider um, what it is that life could be asking or, or you know, just another way to, to shift your perspective. And the card that I pulled is card number 21 for any of you number buffs out there. And it's this beautiful card. It's called the mirror. The mirror. This is so perfect the mirror. I'm not going to let it get into focus. Sorry. Cause then I'll be out of focus. The mirror says, know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. Could that be any more Virgo? Uh, Kelly says, let go. I can't tell you how often I have to say that to my husband, babe. You just got to let it go. You just have to let it go. 
It's not going to be your idea of perfection, learning how to surrender that for the divine perfection that always is. I mean, it's really what you're fighting for. Sink into that, like really, really sink into that. Okay, but this mirror, this mirror that the world around us is showing us, this mirror that Virgos hold up, actually, that's even what my little chica right, right here, my little Virgo babe, she's holding a mirror in her hand. You see there? Holding a mirror. And I thought at first, I was like, well, that feels kind of vain, having a little girl holding a mirror. But then I thought, no, that's what Virgos do. They hold up a mirror to the world. They say, oh, look at you. What are you going to do about that? They bring the truth right to your face. And not all of us like that. Definitely not all of us in the South like that. But there's power to that. When you can partner that level of truth with compassionate, empathetic heart, magic can and does literally happen right before your eyes. I've witnessed it over and over and over again. But this is what Virgos do. They hold up a mirror and they say, who are you going to be today? And they're constantly holding that mirror up to themselves. They're holding that mirror up to the world. Now, the, the thing that trips us up is when we get this idealistic view of perfection, right? But that's why it's so important to know yourself. Because if someone's holding up a mirror and they're saying, you're not seeing what I'm seeing, you better know who you are. Because if you don't know who you are, you will start to believe their reflection and overlook the truth about you. And that's what Virgos need. Virgos need confidence. Virgos need someone saying, I know just as certain, if not more than you, because I know me and all is indeed well. Virgo, all is indeed well. That's what Virgo needs to hear, right? They need to know it's okay to relax. It's okay to relax. And when you can look into that mirror, when you can learn about yourself, when you can refine your character, when you can use it as an opportunity to know yourself more. Thank you, Colleen says she loves the necklace. We just picked up this little charm. We saw this cute little Taurus bull, which is my daughter. And um, I wasn't too crazy about the Capricorn one. So we just went with the Virgo. And I thought, well, perfect. I will just add her onto my little stone necklace here that I like to wear. And she'll be my reminder to bring that Virgo truth to the table, to bring those Virgo qualities to the table. Because, um, yeah, it's my North Node. It's what I've, what I've got to live into. And it's perfect for Virgo season. So I've been feeling more edgy lately. I've been feeling more overwhelmed. I've been feeling less patient, less understanding. I've been feeling like, can't y'all just get it together already? And that's pretty much how a Virgo feels all the time, all the time, because they're that remarkable. They're very forward thinking. They're very over analytical, overthinking. They're a few steps ahead at all times because if they got a plan, they can get it done perfect. And if they can get it done perfect, then they've achieved what they came here to do, right? You can see how that can get kind of anxiety ridden. Know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. And this is like the ongoing um, challenge of life is knowing who you are versus what you think life is telling you or what others are saying about you. And as I grow in my entrepreneurial journey and my personal life journey and my partnership journey and my parenting journey, the more that I realize this is all about character refinement. Any place of agitation is a place for me to grow, whether I like it or not. And I grow by either taking a step back and deciding, do I need to hold on to this place of agitation or can I let it go? Is there something in it more for me? And that's what Virgo season is all about. So if you're feeling shook up, that's why. If you're feeling clear minded, if you're feeling like you are unstoppable and you are on a process improvement to change the world, channel that Virgo energy because it is backing you up. It is backing you up. You cannot lose. And just be aware of the overanalyzing, overthinking, over worrying, and getting so caught up in all the details that you don't take action, right? That's going to be the challenge of this season. All right. Oh, Colleen says that her great, her granddaughter is a bull too. Yeah. Uh -huh. They are amazing, but just like a bull. I mean, just imagine, uh, we'll have to have a whole Taurus conversation at another time, but Yes, when, when I just imagine my daughter not as a 50 pound six year old girl, but as a like 500 plus pound bull, 
it all starts to make sense. <laughs> all of it starts to make sense. Anyway, y'all, I have gone on far longer than I intended, but thank you for watching up until this point. I hope this was helpful. Drop some comments below. Hit subscribe if you're finding this on my YouTube channel. I would love to keep you posted every week. And join me over in the Conscious Success community for more. If you are local, you can join me live the second and fourth Wednesday of every month, which means tomorrow, um, 11.30 to 1 o'clock at the Leadership Circle at Boulevard West, downtown Clayton. Um, you're welcome to join that conversation or the first of the month. Um, we'll have my women's group, but I'm not talking about that right now because that's not happening. Okay. See y'all tomorrow. See you online. Let me know how this hits home for you and join me over in the Conscious Success community for a three card layout that you can dive a little bit more into. All right. I know I'll see you over there, Colleen. Bye, Jackie. Thanks for being here too.